do you actually know that there are super athletes out there which actually follow a vegan diet? Is that right? What, Mainly, totally vegan? Totally vegan. But don't they and lose strength? Don't they, they don't, lose... no, on contrary, they, they gain strength and they feed a lot on nuts and seeds and smoothies, you know, where they blend everything together and they eat a lot of it. Okay, they eat so huge the proportion amounts. goes up. But... So the proportion goes up, but they're, they're mus they look enormous. Okay. We don't want to be stuck in anabolism, okay? Yeah, yeah okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Um, and with regard to like wheat and cooking oil prices, I mean, how can you relate that to what we've be, what we've just discussed? Do, do you know, when I heard um, because of the Ukraine war that uh, wheat and uh, cooking oil prices went up, I was actually, I was excited. Okay. I was excited and I actually put an Instagram post out. <laughs> okay, with regard to this. Why I'm delighted that this is happening. You okay. know, and also I was very, very sensitive at the time. Because, I mean, cooking oil is just another additive. You know, it's, it's like SOS, sugar, oil and salt. Oh. So what okay. happens to cooking oil? Cooking oil, and no matter even if you talk about virgin olive oil, cold pressed, even whatever even. it is, because it has no nutrients. So they're always marketed as healthy. I know it is. It is nonsense. Okay. It is totally and utter nonsense. Oil gets immediately absorbed into the body, stored as fat, and not used as energy. Oh. So one tablespoonful of oil, no matter which oil it is, has 120 calories. Oh. So. So. Why use it? Use something like nuts and seeds instead, you know? These are healthy oils and they take a much longer time to be digested and the, the good gut bacteria feed on them and produce something like short-change uh, short fatty acids. I've got you. Yep. On, which are highly anti-inflammatory. Right, and, yes. Uh, which, which also reduce uh, sugar levels and all kinds of things, you know? So you really want to eat seeds and nuts um, rather than oils. Even coconut oil, Susanna? Even coconut oil. Okay. You know, these are all fads. Okay. Yeah, you know, I, when I cook, I use a tiny, tiny amount um, of oil and you'll be surprised often you actually don't need it at all because fish has a lot of omega-3 omega yes. fatty acids yes. you know a lot of oil you so know you can get naturally the, you can get natural oil particularly when you cook it on a very low heat and that's the same with salt as well Susanna I'm, uh... salt as well you know I'm uh, I used enough salt you know I love Pe it I love people it people use it for flavoring yes but actually, all the salt we require in our bodies is actually required in plant foods. Oh, and it's, but I keep hearing about Himalayan salt is supposed to be healthy and Himalayan this and pink salt. And yeah, can, yeah, you, can yeah. you tell me about yeah, some, this? You know, some people say that um, Himalayan salt or all these other salts you talk yes. about, you know, they have so many more trace minerals, um, which are important yes, for yeah, us. Yeah. The trace minim, uh, mineral amount is absolutely minimal. Oh. It will have no impact on the body. Oh. Now, when you want to ingest trace minerals, which we need, you know, we need those phytochemicals from the plants. We need the trace minerals from the plants and we need the vitamins from the plants. You All the trace minerals you actually get in food. Not the not not from adding salt or adding. No, no, no. It makes no difference okay. at all. In the end, salt. You know, and I mean, so many research studies have uh, have shown that, in the end, uh, a relatively high salt intake will lead to high blood pressure. The latest when you're eighty. Oh gosh. Okay. And I mean, it usually most people get high blood pressure between the fifties and sixties. Yeah. It slowly, slowly goes up. And uh, then everybody gets it when they're eighty. And again, it is totally unnecessary. Uh, we really don't need it, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this this is a very big eye opener for me. Like like I'm saying, Susanna, sometimes I don't know what I'm eating. Um, with regard to, I mean, I keep hearing about these blue zones. I keep hearing, you know, this country is a blue zone. Can you tell me about this, please? Because this is, you know, this yeah, is something new to me. It, it, Forgive it, my ignorance. No, 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 no. Absolute pleasure. It is. It is. It's a wonderful subject to talk about. Okay. You know, because I mean, only recently uh, a friend of mine uh, forwarded me something, a post which said, oh, we are only meant to live till the age of 50. Mm. And it's because of modern medication and modern drugs that we live so long. Mm. Now, don't get me wrong. I am not an anti-pharma person, you know, okay. but uh, 
medications are only there until you find a permanent mm. solution. You know, like, so yes. if you have diabetes, yes. you know, the metformin will help reduce the sugar levels. But in the long run, you really want to change the way yeah. you eat. Yes, you don't want to keep taking these you want medications to keep taking, yeah. in the long run. Yeah, and yeah. in those blue zones, people live 100 years plus, some up to 125, 130, wow. without any of the typical Western diseases. Or actually now I should also say Oriental diseases because the standard Western diet is, is you know, practiced in India and Japan. It's almost practiced everywhere. And they, um, so there are, there are six or seven blue zones in the world. So one is in Japan, in Okinawa. Then we have one in Greece and in Korea. We have another one in Sardinia. We have another one in Puerto Rico, I think one in the Andes and um, one in California, the Seventh Adventists. Okay. And what do they all have in common? What do they have They in common? eat a, mainly a plant-based diet. So yeah. no meats? A very, no very meat. little meat. Okay. Maybe let's say 10 to 20% meat or animal protein, I should say, which includes eggs, dairy and meat. Because I'm, I'm pretty ignorant, Susanna. Would you tell me like, maybe how many times a week I could eat meat safely with, 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 without maybe triggering off leaky gut or triggering off inflammation somehow. Yeah, you know, I mean, you're an athlete, Mustafa. Mm. You're an athlete. Yeah. Do you actually know that there are super athletes out there which actually follow a vegan diet? Is that right? Well, mainly, totally vegan. Totally vegan. But don't they and do strength? Don't they, they don't. Lose? No, on contrary, they, they gain strength and they feed a lot on nuts and seeds and smoothies, you know, where they blend everything together and they eat a lot of it. Okay. They eat so huge the proportion amounts. goes up. But... So the proportion goes up, but they're, they're mass they look enormous. Okay. And I wish that I'd, I could give you a name now, but there are a few I, I okay, find them, yeah. you know. No, I've got a few in mind actually yeah yeah, not, yeah. so coming you know to. so i mean sometimes when i work out and, and i come back from the gym yes i'm craving protein and probably then you need a little bit more protein you know but it's uh, a presumption assumption that we need to that we need to eat so much protein it's only recently in um uh in in, in world history so to speak the past 50 years that we started eating so much meat we've never uh, eaten so much meat and we're not doing as much and we're not we? doing as much you yes. know so Anyway, to come back to the blue zone, yes. that's my favorite yeah. favorite yeah. area. Yeah. So they, ha they have a very strong plant-based diet. They eat a lot of beans and pulses. They uh, move naturally. They move a lot. You know, you, you know a lot about the body. Yes. You understand the yes. lymphatic system, yes. you know. The lymphatic system is responsible for detoxing our drainage. body yeah. drainage. But unless you move, the lymphatic system doesn't it's move. Not gonna, it's going to stagnate. Yeah, Just it's like going to stagnate. Yeah. So, uh, so they move a lot. Then they also have a very strong social connections. You know, they have their families, they have their friends, that and they meet a lot. They, and that helps. And there is no difference between old and young. You know, okay. they, they, they communicate the same way. And then the third, uh, the fourth thing is which they do, which um, they work till old age. Right. So they, they're is, continuously remaining yes, active throughout absolutely. their life. Absolutely. And this is why I have taken the decision to work till till I die okay <laughs> you know yes, yes. And I've also taken the decision you know and I just I hope I don't have haven't done too much damage to my to my body mm. that I can live to up to 125 years plus because I know it's possible mm. yeah can, can I just for my own selfish reasons Susanna can I tell you what I eat like yeah, you know yeah, yeah, and I then maybe you could because I know I'm not eating right I know I'm not eating right okay let's just say I I, I usually skip breakfast I don't I, I don't really have breakfast because I usually train um, in during the morning. So I like to go on a fasted belly. After I have my training, maybe I'll have four poached eggs. Uh, then I'll have, with their runny, the poached eggs. Then I'll have a salad next to it. And I'll have four hash browns with that. And maybe a cup of coffee. Okay, so let's, let's start with, with sugar. Yeah, so I mean, you are following the standard Western diet, Mustafa, aren't you? You are, <laughs> okay. you are following the standard okay. western diet you know see, the truth hurts so... Susanna it's difficult, to, <laughs> it's difficult to, to see that I'm doing something wrong when I when yeah. I thought that I was doing something wrong please sorry to disturb so you, you eat the hash browns so the potatoes they got some nutrition but not much they're, they're drenched in yeah. oil plus they're white mm. you eat four eggs if you eat that on a daily basis um it's like um 28 eggs 
in the week. I mean, Mustafa, you're working yourself up to to a heart disease. Oh gosh. And atherosclerosis, and you know, a potential heart attack if you continue eating mm. like that. You mm. know, mm. we do not need that much protein. In we our don't diets. need that much protein. Really, no. You know, I mean, protein is uh, is dangerous. It is dangerous. You know, it's um, it triggers off something um, in the pit pituitary gland which then sends a message to the liver to produce something called insulin-like growth factor one. IGF-1. And no one ever, ever talks about it. Why not? Um, I mean, I don't know. I hear about I, this I, I, quite, quite a lot, but you, people you, don't... They, I hear about it in the bodybuilding circuits, in the athlete circuits, because they want to increase this, but it's oh, no, detrimental. No. Absolutely detrimental, and mm. uh, you will find these people will not live beyond the age of fifty, and they're going to have a heart attack or a stroke. They generally Number do. one, it it helps build up a plaque. Number two, uh, so atherosclerosis. Number two, um, the elasticity. The of elasticity of the veins disappears. Yeah, and it's actually a growth hormone. And so imagine, let's put it this way: mm -hmm. imagine you have a cancer cell. Yes. And you eat a lot of IGF-1. It's going to encourage the cancer. It's going to encourage the cancer. Mm -hmm. So what you're eating, you're, they're, they're eating for short, how can I say, for a short lifespan. They are not eating to become 100 years old plus. Yeah, if you want to be a champion and you want to do that, uh, help yourself. But you, you, yeah. you are going to have the heart attack or you are going to get cancer. So you, you may have good taste and good results, but long longevity is going to suffer. Absolutely. You're okay. not going to have quality of uh, end of life, basically, so to speak. Uh, and um, the other thing which IGF-1 does it interferes with, ins with the insulin receptors. It does? It does. Okay. So you... it actually, it, you know, if you're diabetic, and you eat a lot of meat, you're actually further enhancing your diabetes. Okay, okay. And this is what people have to understand. So let's say some diabetic people... So why don't people, practitioners tell us? They don't know? Don't they know? I do not know, you know, mm. but I think it is known. I mean, what I'm telling you is based on 22,000 research studies, Mustafa. Mm. 22,000, which is a lot, you, you know, and, and anybody who's got a heart condition and goes to a doctor, you know, and he says you need to have an operation and the doctor does not mention the fact that they need to change their nutrition. They actually denied informed consent. OK. And this is worrying. It you is know, worrying. This really is worrying. You it know? is worrying. Um, and, uh, you know, later on, I will show you athletes that are on a pure vegan diet. And most of they're, they're getting look better huge. results. Yes, they're it... looking huge. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I mean, if I could carry on, Susanna, if I could take carry on. Yeah, absolutely. Like at lunchtime, maybe I'll have um, a steak. Again, you're eating for cancer. You're mm. eating for heart disease. You're eating for stroke. You're eating for, not for longevity. Yeah. White rice. White rice. You're eating for diabetes. Maybe, you some, know? maybe some burgol. Bur 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 uh, yeah, is that a whole grain? Uh, a whole wheat? Yes, yes, it is. So that's maybe I should. Switch. That's that's better. Yes. That's better. You know. So, um, you know, what you should really eat for lunch, Mustafa. Let's start with breakfast. Mm -hmm. What do I eat for breakfast? Yeah, well, you know. Please. Let, so, let or me what, know. Is, what some of these athletes eat yes, for breakfast? Let me you know, know, please. So you basically you make yourself a salad a smoothie. Okay. And it, it sounds really disgusting. When yes. I first heard it, it was yes. like, oh gosh, no, no. But they actually, they, they do taste delicious and they're very, very nutritious. So you put you put in very dark leafy greens. Okay. You add lots of nuts and seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds, hemp seeds. Hemp seeds, very, very rich in protein. Yeah. You add berries, strawberries, um, uh, blueberries, raspberries. And today I added some watermelon yeah. as well. These are antioxidants, exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you top it up with a little bit of water, some almonds also, and some walnuts, and any other vegetables you want to put in, such as broccoli and kale. Kale is one of the most nutritious foods you can actually find. It has all the 40 vitamins and minerals we need. It ranks very, very high on my, on my uh, food on your, scale, on, your, on my okay. scale. So it's like a superfood, and if you like. It's a superfood, absolute okay. superfood. And then you add a little bit of water in the blender. And then you add all of these things and you blend it for two or three minutes and you drink it first thing in the morning. Okay. And you can drink a lot. Yeah, it's simple. Yeah. And it will keep you full till lunchtime. Why is that? Is that because, because things are the, being released? Yes, the, if things are being released, number <coughs> of all, your body will begin to tingle. 
because he, the nutrition goes in very, very fast. But some of the nutrition is being digested later on. Okay. Yeah. So the the short chain fatty acids, the um, or the uh, what was I going to say? The um, uh, the seeds, uh, the uh, nuts, you know, which are then created into short chain fatty acids. They mm. are um, ingested later, mm. and um, it's it's slow release, as you said, and you feel great. You yeah, yes, honestly, so. you feel great. Yeah. I mean, this is this is one of the things that. I tend to go by being a lay is how it makes me feel. If I get out, if I if I feel that it's improving my performance or it's improving my well being, really, then I'll, I'll carry on. Um, this is the hard thing, really, because sugar does that to me. It makes me feel good. It makes you feel good, but only for a short yeah. period of time. Yeah. You know, it gives you that boost. Maybe Brrr, for, and then for ten, fifteen and then minutes, I collapse. and then you collapse. Yes. And now let's get, the, get back to the food. So mm. you start off with a huge smoothie mm. that uh, has an immediate and a late effect on, on your body. Yeah. You then have a huge salad for lunch. And when I say uh, huge, I do mean huge. You know, but I'm not talking about a little salad bowl. I'm not just talking about it's leafy your main veg. thing. It's your main thing. Mm. And you eat it with cabbages, with radishes, with maybe even some kale, maybe even some broccoli. And then some leafy greens. You can also put some uh, fruit on it. No fish. Ten um, percent. I would only put ten percent, and that's a huge portion. You know, when people come and see me, oh, I had my salad. How much did you eat? You know, they 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 fall off the chair when I show them this, the amount of salad I eat for lunch. Okay. And rather than using oil, again, you use nuts and seeds, or one of my lovely. Um, nutty uh salad dressing mm, mm, mm. and they're very very delicious this is the thing we need to be educated on on how to eat you know how to prepare these foods a lot of people seem to think it takes too long they can't be yeah. bothered yeah. it's easier just to go to the shop and 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 get yourself some junk food because it's cheap but we don't know what we're putting into our bodies i mean what's your opinion on all these diets are they fads like you've got the Atkins, you've got the keto. What is your what is your opinion on this? Oh, absolutely. I would never embark on them. Actually, I tried them out and it didn't work for me. You no. know, I immediately had reactions. I mean, I tried the keto, I tried the Atkins, but my body just couldn't take that much no. meat. My body couldn't take that much fat. And then again, when you're in ketosis with the um the keto diet, it actually increases the acidity in your in your blood. And hundred percent of cancer patients are acidic. Acidic. So, I mean, this is the thing when you eat a lot of meat, Mustafa, you um, the it's it's you know, it's the meat is mixed with the acid, the stomach acid, you know, which then goes into your gut. Now, if you have a little bit of leaky gut, that acid is going to end up in your system. bloodstream. Yes. Yes. And, you know, Very anybody simple. who's got an autoimmune dysfunction, heart disease, whatever it is, they have a lot of acidity in their blood. So this really is um, is this the is secret. Really... Yeah. What about um, Susanna? Like intermittent intermittent fasting. I mean, what's your opinion on that? I mean, yeah. do you do it, or is it something that that you recommend for your patients, or is that something that you do yourself? Please, can you tell for me? For me, about intermittent this? fasting has become a lifestyle. Okay. It's part of my daily life. Okay. So I would have my salad smoothie, you know, like ten o'clock in the morning. I'd have my my salad and maybe uh, some beans and maybe a little bit of meat, you know, at lunchtime. And I'd finish off with a salad smoothie five o'clock. I eat between 10 and 5. So you've the got rest, a, a very I do small not window. Yeah, I have a very small window because I really want my body to get rid of the toxins. It's like seven hours yeah, you've the, got. Yeah, only mm. a seven hour window. Mm. I fast for, let's say, 16 to 18 hours okay. very, very easily. And my body is used to it, likes it. I sleep much better. And... You really want to. You're not. You're not. At, you're not digesting all day long. You're giving your system a yes. chance. To... Yeah. You really want to stay in that catabolic phase as okay. long as you can, in order for the body to heal, in order for the body to be able to do its 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 job. Mm. You know, to regenerate, mm -hmm. to rejuvenate, to heal, and, and that doesn't include water, Susanna. No, 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 no. no. You drink lots and lots plenty of water, of water plenty throughout of the water day. Throughout the day, it doesn't absolutely. matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, yeah. so it's not gonna. What about drinking water? While I'm eating, that's not a good idea because I'm diluting the, the stomach uh, acids because no, I, I hear this. I know, I know. Yeah. And um, there are different theories around it, you know, but I actually, I make it a habit now to drink while I'm, um, while I'm eating. At least a glass of water, you know. 